in the middle of the 13th century. A prominent religious scholar named Jalaluddin Rumi was suddenly separated from his teacher and spiritual friend. In his grief, he took hold of a column and began turning. Verses of poetry began pouring out of him. Remarkable poetry. His students wrote the words down. 700 years later, Rumi's poetry is being discovered in the West. He is, in fact, the best-selling poet in America. The Sufi, we can connect with because they're talking about these wonderful, uh, sublime truths uh, which have a way of piercing directly into the human heart, wherever it is. The Sufis used to walk, you know, down several roads, visiting with the Christians, visiting with Islam, visiting in all of the great religions, really. I mean, that's part of the nature of this kind of uh, fluid imagination. It crosses boundaries. It, uh, it penetrates, and it even slips by, and it works by way of humor. It works by way of stunning imagery. It works in many different ways, as if to um, keep bringing people to some deep human well. Come to the orchard in spring. There is light and wine and sweethearts in the pomegranate flowers. If you do not come, these do not matter. If you do come, these do not matter. Something opens our wings. Something makes boredom and hurt disappear. Someone fills the cup in front of us. taste only sacredness.